AP photographer Bilal Hussein has been in U.S. custody for more than a year and a half since being picked up when the Marines were conducting operations in the city of Ramadi. Hussein was found in his house in the company of a known terrorist bomb maker and was taken into custody by U.S. forces. The U.S. government will serve as a complaining witness against Hussein, providing testimony and evidence to the equivalent of an Iraqi grand jury, which will then determine whether his case will go to trial. We have learned that Hussein was actually on the military's radar screens much earlier than his arrest in 2006, in fact as early as 2004 when his reporting from Fallujah raised the concerns of many. Hussein filed reports and photographs that seemed to show a considerable amount of cooperation from insurgents. In addition, much of his reporting and details of atrocities seemed inconsistent with facts that our forces knew from the ground. We have learned from a military source involved with this operation that Hussein and several others reporting from Fallujah during 2004 were put under scrutiny, including intelligence and public affairs officials who were trying to counter what seemed to be inaccurate or misleading reporting. In addition, because it was believed that Hussein was working in concert with the insurgents, there was a special operations unit that was tasked with potentially exploiting any actionable intel generated by following Hussein and the others' activities. I have seen an email confirming this and showing that our military believed he was part of an active terrorist press operation coming from Fallujah and then expanding out later into... His subsequent capture in Ramadi was not part of this operation, but was simply a matter of chance when the Marines searched his house and found him in the company of a known terrorist and also found other items that led them to believe he was involved in insurgent activities. Those items and other evidence will be presented to the Iraqi Grand Jury this week. Jeff Morrell, the Pentagon press secretary, had the following to say. We believe Bilal Hussein was a terrorist media operative who infiltrated the AP, he said. MNFI possesses convincing and irrefutable evidence that Bilal Hussein is a threat to security and stability as a link to insurgent activity. The fact that the U.S. government was actively monitoring the activities of journalists is certain to create an outcry. I asked my source whether concerns about the military monitoring the media were discussed when the team was first formed. He said absolutely those concerns were considered, but that they felt it was vital to counter what seemed to be false and misleading reporting coming from Fallujah. The more they looked at the overall picture of a city that was 100% controlled by Al-Qaeda and Sunni insurgents at the time, it appeared that there was a concerted effort underway in which certain journalists were acting in coordination with Al-Qaeda and the insurgents to ensure that their message got out. In addition, this team believed that the tight ties between Hussein and the insurgents might be exploited to find our way to some terrorist leaders. Consequently, the inclusion of a special operations team to be able to exploit any intelligence that we gained. Monitoring the activities of journalists in a war zone is certainly an extreme step, and we will soon see what evidence the military has that would justify this. This was Jim Hansen with an exclusive report for Black 5 TV and Pajamas Media.